Welcome to the channel again. I'm gonna walk through the truck, what we did yesterday. Here we go. So I went through the whole thing and sanded it with 180 grit with the DA sander. Had some issues with the DA sander, so I had to get a new one. Um, but we've gone through pretty much everything. There's some areas around the door and stuff I still need to get. And then uh, I need to get this white stuff off of the uh, perky liner that was on there, the clear coat. Because all the clear coat has to come off or it will re repeal once I put a uh, new paint on it. So I don't want that to go around the fender wells and stuff. There's like a rubber strip there that needs to be gone around. Um, overall, it's not too bad. Just uh, gonna go 220 today over the whole thing and then uh, try to knock out the 320 also and see where we're at. But it's coming along. Let me pull those lights out too make things easier but overall looks pretty good that's it right there now oh, in case you guys haven't seen it this is the rack for the back it's got flip up lights so that when you're driving down the highway you don't feel the uh, the wind resistance of the lights so they fold backwards I didn't see that little guy on there him out. <laughs> Man, he's fast. <laughs> I guess that's where he lives. All right. All right, welcome to the channel. Get started. Here we go. This is what we did yesterday. Uh, I didn't get some of it on camera. Uh, I wish I would have, but I lost some footage. So I'll just take you through what I did. All right, so here we go. So I removed the flares off the truck. Uh, it was going to be easier to sand around them. I did not do that the first time I painted this and uh, because these clips right here were three dollars a piece <laughs> from the dealership and you had to order them and they were painting a butt to get in so uh, this time I found them I guess there's a lot of people doing this so the Amazon had them on there and uh, they were pretty cheap I think I paid ten bucks for all of them to do this I think it was 30 of them uh, for ten bucks for $9.99 um, so Took those off, uh, it'll make it a lot easier. I'm gonna go through and sand those areas today and uh, fix up the little spots like uh, around the window frame there that I didn't sand. All the clear coat's gone off that already. Uh, looking right here, I gotta get this off somehow, this clear coat. Some of it came off with the uh, hose the other day. I may have to pressure wash it to uh, get it all the way off. Uh, sanded some of the stuff off of there. I don't think I'll need to be sanding too much of it off because the Raptor liner stick to damn near anything. Um, so let's say I took the headlights and taillights out as well. So it'll be easier to get to everything around there. And, uh, let's see, I'll take it through the rest of this. And yeah, this side looks pretty much the same way. Again, with the clear coat still on some of the spots. Uh, I got the roof too, but I still need to do that area right there around the windshield and then around this window. Uh, I'd like to take these side windows out when I paint this thing. Um, I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but it'd, be, it'd come out a little nicer if I did. Same with the window trim and stuff. That's just such a lot of work just to paint something semi-gloss black. If it was going to be another color, I would definitely do all that. But black's pretty basic. And, uh, oh, and there's one of the dents I forgot to tell you guys about the other day. So on the back of this right here, I had an ATV and I drove it up in here. I don't know why I thought I could drive it up in here, but uh, the wheels went up over the, the humps right there because it was pretty wide. And then the front crash bar hit this right here. It dented it in pretty bad, but I was able to get almost all of it out. There's still some little tiny stuff there, but that'll be covered up with the Raptor liner. It's not a huge deal. Um, it's got a Linex bed liner in it. Uh, I cleaned that up somewhat the other day from uh, hosing it out. But yeah, there's that, and then there's a, here's where somebody scraped me on the road before an accident. I took off the license plate and the rest of that stuff. So what I'm going to do is spray everything that's been sanded in like a matte black, and then the bottom is going to be Raptor liner over top of it. I'm going to try to do it without pulling the bumpers. Just, leave, just spray it over top of that stuff. But yeah, it's coming out pretty good. Um, I went back over everything with 220 uh, on the last video from the 180. Um, don't know if I'm going to need to go over it with 320. If I do, I'll do it by hand. I don't think I'll need to do that with the DA sander again. 
it's hard to get in a lot of spots with the DA sander. But today I'm going to hit the fender wells areas with the DA because it's just quicker. All right, and that's what we're going to do.